Papa Ooh Mau Mau, people. That's right. Today we're taking a look back at 1998's Carrot Top's Tour de Force Chairman of the Board, a tale of corporate espionage, romance, and heartbreak. Let's go over 10 crazy facts you probably didn't know about Chairman of the Board. Number 1. Recent estimates show that while Edison is portrayed as a down-on-his-luck beach bum at the beginning of the movie, all the extravagant shit in his home would cost at least $2.7 million, and nobody would probably want to buy the place. Number 2. You may have heard that comedian and former SNL cast member Norm MacDonald kind of dissed this movie, but in reality that's only part of his persona Bad MacDonald. Norm worships Carrot Top and keeps a seven foot tall Carrot Top statue in his backyard, which he worships every morning. Never would have guessed by looking at the guy. Number three. I used to get confused with Carrot Top, like, a lot. Number four. While Raquel Welch's roles in Fantastic Voyage and One Million Years B.C. may have propelled her into being an international icon and sex symbol, her role in Chairman of the Board as sassy stockholder Grace Kosick made her even more famous than she already was. Before this movie, you probably didn't know who Raquel Welch was, but now you do know who Raquel Welch is, thanks to this movie. Number 5. Carrot Top's childlike naivety really lends itself to a five-year-old power fantasy where you get all the money and shit you want, including a limo inside a bowling alley. But did you also know that Carrot Top may actually have used some legitimate acting techniques for his role as super scientist Edison? For instance, while comedians like David Spade or Adam Sandler try being funny, Carrot Top goes for the avant-garde experimental method of making wacky, goofy voices every five seconds and contorting his face into a rictus little grin. Chairman of the Board is also notable for its heavy reliance on props. Who could forget the vomit jacket and the shit shoes? And of course, Carrot Top cites Robin Williams' performance in the Barry Sonnenfeld film Toys as a major inspiration. When you look at it, they're basically the same exact movie. Number 6. Don't think for an instant the chairman of the board isn't a political movie. For instance, the Indian headdress that Courtney Thorne Smith wears is an absolute laugh riot. Everyone really loved all that. The gay relationship of goofy sidekicks Ty and Zack, played by Jack Plotnick and Maestro Clark, was praised at the time for its grounded depiction of a homosexual relationship on the Californian coast. Of course, perhaps the biggest impact Chairman of the Board had on cinema in general was Meet Joe Black, which came out just a few months after and also deals with a corporate takeover with some kind of scheming villain who's out to destroy the main character of the film who's good and righteous. Could it be that Meet Joe Black ripped off Chairman of the Board? I don't know, seems kind of fishy to me. Perhaps most importantly, Carrot Top got a personal call from John Leguizamo, the pest himself, who told him that as good as his shower scene was in the beginning of his comedy, Carrot Top's might have been even more hot. This led to a common trend of the 90s comedy where it opens with the character in a shower, soaping themselves up, getting all lathery and bubbly. Even Walter Matthau joined in on the party in his 1999 film The Moonshine Boy. For helping kick this trend off, Garrett Top was awarded the Presidential Medal of Honor for promoting public hygiene. Number 7. Chairman of the Board is fondly remembered for its use of Chekhov's glow gunk, which states that if there's glow gunk in the first act, there should be glow gunk in the third act. A good example is when Bradford McMillan is given the magic surfboard by his uncle, Armand McMillan. After this, he breaks it apart, saying that the answer just wasn't in the board. The joke is that he thinks it's like a Ouija board or something. Number 8. When I was five, I thought this movie was funny. I don't know what was wrong with me. Number 9. Garrett Dapp has stated that while he doesn't see his fun character Edison coming back anytime soon, 
he does see maybe Ty and Zack, played by Maestro Clark and Jack Plotnick, starring on an upcoming season of Fire Island, Awooga. Number 10. If nothing else, Chairman of the Board is notable for changing the public's perception of scientists, maybe forever. Before the film, scientists were seen as stuffy, narcissistic assholes. After the film's release, they were seen as irresponsible douchebags who were only interested in vomit and riding those waves. Thanks, Carrot Top, for getting rid of the public's ignorance. And there you have it. 10 crazy facts about Chairman of the Board. Did you agree with our list? Let us know in the comments below. And even if you agreed with our list, let us know in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe, comment, subscribe, like, and sacrifice your soul to Beelzebub. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.